Hey, this is Robin with Check It Out, and I'm here at the Trina Turk Boutique with the beautiful and talented Maria Menounos. Maria, congratulations on your new book. Thank you. It was released this week. It's called Every Girl's Guide to Diet and Fitness. Mm -hmm. Now, I can't believe, I can't even imagine that you were over 40, 40 pounds. Yeah, you know, it happens. Once it starts accumulating, it's hard to stop it sometimes. And this all accumulated when you were in college. Yes, of course. I, uh, I was off my leash. I guess my parents we always ate healthy at home and then when I got to school and there was unlimited food I took advantage I was not letting free food go to waste it's like a kid in the candy store yeah, exactly. <laughs> awesome now um now this is not a diet book I, I heard you don't like diets no I I actually when I lost the weight I never said I was on a diet to anyone including myself mm -hmm. and I think that that's the best approach because you don't want to set yourself up for failure. You think you're on a diet and then you go out to dinner and maybe you don't have willpower tonight. We're all humans, right? So you order dessert and your friends look at you and they're like, mm, really? And then you feel like a failure and you're like, screw it, I quit. And then you go even crazier than you would have normally. Yes, yes, I've been there, I know. You know, you just, you just make little changes. And I always say, people really envy people that have willpower. Right? So when you're at dinner and you can say no, even if it's hard for you, people around you are going to be like, oh, because then they're going to feel guilty about ordering it. So there's something to be admired about people that can say no, even if it's hard, it will get easier. After like the third or fourth time, I promise it gets easier. And then you get a high off of saying no. Really? Yes. Trust me. Wow. Now see. There. I've been there. I've done it. And I promise. Now, you're, you were kind of like how I am. I love food. I mean, I was always taught to finish the plate. Yeah. You know? Um, so, I mean, how did, you, how did you slowly stop eating as much as, you know, to just to lose those pounds? I think that's like an ethnic thing. They make you, like, lick the plate clean. I think so, too. <laughs> uh, you know what I did is I just I started to cut, like, maybe 10%. I would eat the same things, but I'd eat, like, 10% less. And then when that got easy, I cut back a little bit more and a little bit more. So it does get easy. It does get easier, but you have to start slow and be patient. It's a marathon, not a sprint. I really looked at it as, you know what, I'm just trying to make a little healthier of a decision at each meal, each time. Little teeny baby steps. Not like throwing everything out and saying, I'm going to eat egg whites and salad for the rest of my life. That's not feasible. So just make teeny, teeny 10% changes. As that gets easier, make, make more of them. And then eventually what will happen is, similar to what happened to me after five months, I lost 20 pounds without even weighing myself, without saying I was on a diet, without thinking about it, just like melted off and then I was like, oh man, I didn't know this was possible. Wow. More work and then you lose whatever else you need to. Wow. Now, I feel, I know the book is called The Every Girl's Guide, but I feel like this is specifically for a New Yorker like myself. I mean, we're always on the go, you know, and it's also, you know, it's an expensive city, so sometimes people can't afford gyms, you know? So I feel like this is a great guide for someone that lives in a big city that's always on the go. I mean, you're... You're crazy busy. I see the reality show and it's like you get up at five and you don't come home till it's dark again. I mean, so how do you stay healthy and fit and looking fantastic like you are? Well, I have all the tips in the book, but the one last thing that I will say is I have a ton of workouts in the back of the book. Make sure you take photos of the ones you love and save them in a camera roll in your phone called workouts. So you can do them whenever and wherever. You can do them at your desk in your office. You can pull over after work, throw some sneakers on, go in the park and do it off a park bench, whatever it takes. Cool, awesome. And are we having a season two for? Yeah, we'll see. We have to, I gotta know, I wanna see the wedding. Yeah. I wanna see the wedding and I miss your dad Costas, I love him. He is so cute, I love him. Oh. Me too, me too. Thank you so much, Maria. Congratulations. All right, guys, I got my book signed by Maria herself. I had such a great time interviewing her, and, you know, we got a lot of things in common. She's from Boston like myself. She's worked at Dunkin' Donuts. I've done industrial videos with Dunkin' Donuts, and she's just really a great inspiration. Um, and, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually pick up on some of those those little hints that she gave me portion control that's very important a lot of water and a lot of sleep so i hope you guys enjoy this i'll see you next time on check it out